Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Alex Rigetti, natural landscape photographer. It's been a while since I published the last video, but there was not so much going on, and also I was pretty busy in other stuff, so I couldn't dedicate all my time to photography in the last period. Now I am, well, we are in spring here, and I hope to get some really cool shot because it's full of flowers, tall grass, a lot of saplings. I don't know if you can see, but there are new trees that are coming up, and it's really a rewilding area, this one. So hopefully I can get some really cool macro about insects or other stuff. I will just going a little bit around and try to find out. Meanwhile, enjoying the landscape here around and in the next seconds, and I will post a little bit of B-roll here, to just fill, fill the gaps between me searching and this wonderful, wonderful scenario in the spring. So see you in a while, bye. So welcome back, I don't know if you can see, I I set up my stuff, but honestly most of the time I use a uh, handheld shot, so uh, there's not really necessary for me macro uh, with the tripod, unless maybe during the early morning when you can find very still subject, uh, then it's totally different and it can be really helpful, otherwise just a, a flash, it's, uh, it's for me it's more than enough most of the time. Um, I do not used to do so many stacking, so it's also, it's also just too much weight for me to bring sometimes. Anyway, I was wandering here around, uh, scooping uh, these flowers, and I, I, I honestly found a lot of little insects, but not, uh, not big enough for having a nice close-up. I take uh, some shots about insects and flies and some spiders, uh, also the mating spider, that I, the video that I showed you before, but uh nothing particularly interesting in terms of uh, details on this something that i can just uh, say wow this is a really really cool macro shot uh, honestly i found also a lot of uh animal tracks here poop basically wild boar and bro and roe deer so they uh, probably in the night they're accustomed to pass here and i'm not um, surprised about that but no sign of a fox here, apparently. I, I look for some signs as usual, but no sign of a fox so far. So in the meanwhile, I will continue to explore here the area because I think it really deserves and I think I will spend another couple of hours here and then uh, decide what to do because if the, the around midday, I think it's, it, it would not worth to stay here anymore. Uh, the sun is too strong and it would not be enough here for flesh. So let's try to find out and stay tuned. See you. So I hope you can see me because I, I think I'm completely uh, with half of a face enlightened by the sun and half completely black. I hope I can just recover this in, in editing. Um, honestly, I stop my stuff here and I use the tripod even though I, I say that I rarely use the tripod, but this is one of the cases because I want to make a little a little video about a caterpillar that I found, which is actually really big, it's gonna be like six centimeters, something like that. And honestly, I don't know which butterfly is it, but it's really interesting. I will post uh, for sure part of this video in the YouTube. And uh, if you know something, please let me know, write in the comment below because I'm pretty curious. And uh, I think I've seen these other times, but uh, honestly, I never had the opportunity to photograph, so this time is gonna be this one. So, I managed to make some, some short video about this caterpillar, and I will post you in a while. Uh, meanwhile, uh, while I was trying to move the camera, I also bump into the plants, and he moves a little bit, but fortunately, 
be put in a position where it's much easier to photograph so I will try to get this time a really nice uh, close-up of the face which I think is a face that one I'm not sure but it seems so uh, at least it was going in up direction upward so I think uh, the head is uh, is pointing towards uh, towards the sky <laughs> and we'll try to take a nice close-up for the camera from the top uh, I will show you the images of course and please comment and tell me what you think about I'll see you in a while I'm continuing to take pictures of this caterpillar and the subject is perfect. I'm a backlight, I'm using the flash and I will show you in a while the composition I have in mind. I don't know if you can properly see but let me just check a little bit here. I don't know if you can see, I think not because it's too dark. However, there's a, some flower here and then there's this caterpillar that's standing right there on the stick very quiet and calm so no issue at all now the thing is I when I put focus on my face when I usually take in pictures with the flash I, I use a manual flash uh, because I can set uh, the intensity of the light for instance uh, automatically the, the flash was pretty low and I had to increase to one height uh, of exposure for the flash so now it's perfectly enlightened the subject even with the backlight and so I have the subject completely enlightened both from the sun on the top so I have a nice silhouette and uh, at the same time uh, the belly or the, the, the lower part of the caterpillar is very brightened up by the flash it's really really cool images and I like also the very soft tones that are present here so I hope you like and <laughs> See you in a while. I will spend a little bit more time with this fellow. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm basically on the ground. I'm at the lowest possible position of this tripod. And if you take some any images about macro with a nice little subject, my, my idea is always, my suggestion for you is always to put as low as possible and put something between you and the subject. I'm not saying that uh, you recover a bad images, that not for sure but is uh, create the image much more interesting so it's a nice suggestion sometimes to apply so thank you to have been with me today and i hope you enjoyed this uh, this short video uh, i hope it's gonna be short because as usual i started talking and uh, i never won't stop but i have to be short <laughs> so please if you have any suggestion to improve this video as usual uh, write in the post section in the comments and I will be very glad to, to reply or to answer and maybe we can discuss together something interesting also. Uh, if you detect it, I will do a search before posting the video, but if, uh, if nothing came up, if you find something interesting about this guy, please write in the comment below and write which, which kind of species of butterfly is gonna, is gonna become. And yeah, it's gonna be just quite interesting to start a conversation about that. I'm always interesting and curious about nature, so <laughs> it's gonna be cool about. Thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye, enjoy.